We're going to turn our attention to artificial intelligence and the threat that it poses to journalism, especially in Africa. Ignatius Anil is here with us with more. Hi, Heidi. Thank you very much. Now, have you viewed an online news report, believed it, only to learn later that it was fake? Advancement in artificial intelligence are now making that possible. Look at this photo. This image shows a fictitious skirmish with former U.S. President Donald Trump and New York City police officers when he was first arraigned before a state court last month. This artificial intelligence image was widely circulated during that arraignment. So is AI becoming an existential threat to journalists and journalism? Media analysts say emerging technology spaces are making up very likely to put the credibility of quality journalism to the test. The reliance on artificial intelligence in journalism is not new, but recent AI-powered tools empowering bots or a web robot, a software application that runs automated tasks over the internet, usually with the intent to imitate human activity to produce news content for the public's consumption, is raising eyebrows. Media analysts say determining fact fiction or doctored images could further deepen trust issues. The AI Committee to Protect Journalists is concerned about the impact of AI on authentic AI. journalism. Yes, there are elements of AI and the way that AI is being used that is indeed a threat to journalists and to journalism. Uh, no doubt about it. And what we have seen is the use of artificial intelligence to what, I, what has been called the supercharging of disinformation, right? Where journalists can be targeted by sophisticated means that really looks as though it is perfectly plausible and believable, uh, you know, and that really puts them at risk. The international non-profit and NGO Reporters Without Borders says AI tools are being used by unnamed sources and to undermine journalists the, as they the grapple world. with what new media program? plurality. At a certain point, it might be a kind of added value, but what we have seen and linking it to the uh, propaganda machine and propaganda tool is uh, some people using uh, artificial intelligence so as, so as to jeopardize uh, quality of journalism, uh, journalists themselves, and also uh, trying to uh, to undermine, I mean, the findings and revelations were when uh, what which uh, some harness and professional journalists have have done. I see it kind of raising the standards and raising the bar for a lot of us as journalists uh, to um, justify why we are journalists and just to to, to um, you know, for our readers, our listeners, our viewers to uh, really understand the, the value that we bring. Um, because ultimately, people are always going to still want to have authentic news and authentic information and uh, important analysis and, you know, explaining the world in a way that only another human being can explain to, another, to, to human beings. There's no data in Africa on the emergence of AI and its effects on the news industry. Quintal says the use of AI to propagate disinformation is seeing an uptick on the continent, but not without fierce resistance by those practicing true journalism. So while it is a complex problem and there's the world uh, is looking at how to combat disinformation in the sense, I think one of the important things is for journalists on the ground not to be used, not to be in a position where they are in fact uh, propagating the very disinformation that is undermining their craft as journalists. These technologies are not more powerful than us. We make them powerful. We give, it, we give them the information. They're just more efficient, they're quicker, they're faster, but they can only do that with the information, the data that we give them uh, to work with. And we shouldn't be afraid of them. We should learn how to um, use them to our advantage and to make what we do much better, much more, um, much more useful. Well, great reporting there. Thank you so much, Ignatius Anor.